So what is going on? Back again with another video. I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be taking the 8.6 I'm in right now to my dad's house where he has a garage and I'm going to be finally fixing up some much needed stuff. So you should expect painting the whole exterior, some color, I don't know which yet. Comment down below. I'm thinking red. And uh, transmission swap. And I got this GTS rear end supposedly that I might try to fit back here to take it there but I don't think I'm going to do that, I might have to go, go back later, but anyways, um... So I picked up this rear end, it should be like a GTS LSD rear end, and it's going to be a little, little rusty, but I have to try to get into the back of my 8.6, so I'm trying to take off this pan hard bar, which... Oh. Try not to get tetanus from all this rust. I just rolled it back to my front, where the 8.6 is with the trunk. I was going to play on taking off these wheels, but they got some special lug nuts, which is going to be kind of hard to fit inside with those two wheels. Maybe if I take off the front seat, something. So I couldn't fit the, I couldn't fit the rear end inside because those wheels are like really heavy and they had some wheel locks, which I, I couldn't get off. So I might have to do that another time, but let's start it up. Odyssey battery back there does work. Railroad. Oh, oh, real slow. Sorry, people behind me, but I'm a stance god basically. backwards I wonder if that's causing like the noises and everything because I don't know the fluid isn't reaching the front part <laughs> so I'm gonna voice over a little bit because it's kind of awkward to film in front of other people while well, we check the transmission fluid and I stuck my finger in the hole and it's pretty dry it didn't get wet at all I try to get it in deep you know so we just add some fluid from the top let it pour down a hose And here you can see the underside of the car, not too rusty actually. And you can also see more of the terribly done exhaust that leaks a bunch and suffocates you while you're driving. And I just add some cheap semi-synthetic gear oil to just see if it works. It is GL5 by the way. So we added about like a whole quart of oil and so we're going to try that out. But before that we're going to try to put us like a rubber washer and maybe some spacers to try and get the alignment better. And if you saw the transmission had no bushing. And the diff already had fluid in it. So with the fluid level levels checked, I'm gonna now hammer in these pinch wells, which looks a little rusty, but because a wheel at lock, you know, rubs there, so I'm just gonna hammer it out, get the wheel off. Oh. Strong man. Look at all those wheel weights. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this side's a little rusty. It's, fu it's fully hammered, but it's kind of rusty, so you can kind of see through it now. But I'm gonna, I want some like rubber coating to put on on the inside on the whole area which would look very nice. The wheel weighs 30 pounds. The tire. I'm not sure how much the tire weighs though. So you can see this side of the pinch wall is not rusty at all which made the output of how it looks a lot cleaner. And overall it's really dirty. Rubberized would be pretty good. And you can see the spring is just floating up in the air. It's 
too much travel on this stock shock. So I was trying to unbolt the drive shaft so maybe I could slide it forwards because the GTS rear end is like 14 millimeters longer towards the front. But I couldn't really slide it forwards any any bit. So I would either either have to shorten the drive shaft or I was thinking even like get the four adjustable links and move it move the whole like axle back a little bit. And we did a measurement of how much space there is to slide in the transmission and it's like six millimeters or something, but that's like for the rear end to articulate up and down, so. So the lower, lower right we have to like cut some wood. It's kind of a pain, otherwise. And so hopefully it won't hit the gas tank right there when we lower it. I just pulled it out, I guess I'll just go for a test drive real quick, maybe go like 25 or 30. All right. Oh. So I was just driving like 55 and the transmission makes zero noises and shifts a lot better. It's like pretty buttery actually. And I just put in diff fluid, like not even GL5 or GL4 and the transmission is fixed. I don't have to swap it, which is pretty great. It still kind of rubs up there in the front left corner, I think, on the bumper tab or mouse of the fender and everything. But yeah, I mean, I guess the next thing is to start painting it. So let me turn back around and pull into the garage.